Hey guys, in today's training, I'm going to take you through what I do to increase the power of my biceps, my hook and supination. So, one of the exercises that I find really, really good uh, for me is this partial bicep curl. Uh, it's done with the easy bar. What I uh, try to do with every rep is to put my hands on the table. I use the arm resting table for this and just put my hand uh, on, the, on the table so every rep is exactly the same. So the path will always be up to this position here. And for me that's about this position and well if I'm stretched through this I will most likely lose much. So for me I think this is a pretty good exercise because that's the power from where I feel it's the last point where I, can, where I can start pulling in the match. If I'm stretched further, I'm not going to be able to recover. But if I'm here, I am still able to go through. So let's do this. Uh, this is already my fifth set, so it's, it's getting pretty hard, I would say. But what I would uh, suggest before you start with this is to find your position. So always have the same placement of your feet, same placement of your hips, same placement of your lats, basically. So yeah, let's start with this. Yeah, like I said, this exercise is pretty hard. <laughs> hey guys, our second exercise for today is plain and simple easy barbell curls. Uh, I try to do them as clean as possible and as uh, with as little uh, squeezing as possible because I want to rest my hand and forearm for a later cupping exercises but I do want to pre-exhaust and pump my biceps because I do feel that uh, whenever I pump the biceps properly I feel like I'm recovering a lot better and a lot faster so that's why I'm doing it like this So our third exercise is basically, I call this wrist wrench, but I think it can be called a winding handle, where you wind this handle to the strap. Uh, what I try to do with this is to put my hand a bit lower when I wind it, because that way I feel most of the pressure in these two fingers. fingers and then for me that's where my fights will usually go. So if I can contain my opponent here, I'll be pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, and let's start with this. Yeah, as you can see, this is pretty smooth. Uh, so it's it requires you to grip a bit. And I don't think that's a bad thing, because I do believe that a lot of arm wrestlers have weak fingers, because they don't dedicate too much attention to the, to the fingers. And I believe this helps. I 
I do like to use just a bit of chalk. I forgot for the right hand. But yeah, nothing too much as you can see, just those two fingers where I try to put the biggest pressure. Once again, pull it a bit lower so you can see there is space up, not down. And just do this. for this exercise. Our next exercise is basically a duck handle. It's an imitation of Mazarenko's cone handle, I would say. Uh, you can easily create this by welding two pieces of pipe. You see, it would look like this if I put it on the handle now. But for me this felt just a bit too small, so I took a piece of cardboard and some duct tape and just wrapped it around and now it looks, it's just a smidge bigger and it fits better in my hand. So let's set up that handle and yeah for me this, this handle targets the, the tips of my finger and basically my stopping power against a strong top roll opponent. If you're able to stop a top roller, it's, well, you have a pretty good shot at winning that match. If you're able to stop his attack, he will most likely overextend, and you can then go in, cup him, and then either top roll him, go to the side, hook him, whatever you decide. So yeah, that's uh, one of the exercises I do use for for cupping and it's one of the really good exercises in my opinion so as you can see I do try to put my fingers fairly straight my wrist fairly straight and I'm not making big moves with this my point is just to do it like this stop 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 so let's start just wrap it a bit. Yeah, that's it. Other hand, here you might see a bit better. You see, my wrist is straight. My fingers are all the way, uh, all the way to the handle. So I'm not, I'm not bending my fingers like this, just push them all the way down. And yeah, it's a pretty good way, I feel. This, this handle you can make quite easily, I, I assume, and I would suggest that you make her. Because it, it has really great benefits. So our next exercise might be familiar to all of you. It's Devon Larat's multi-spinner. But one difference from his multi-spinner is that this one is a lot longer. As you can see, it's longer than both of my hands put together. What this does is create uh, it creates a lot more instability than if it was just uh, half of this length. I don't like to go too hard on this. Uh, I just do it basically at the end of my training to build stability and uh, to work those minor muscles in the forearm that will provide stability for that. And also, yeah, while I do it, I like to, again, target my index finger and my middle finger. So let's start. This is how I set, set it up. Basically most of the pressure will be on my index finger. See, 
I can basically release all other fingers. But if I release this, it's, it's starting to turn me. So that's why the pressure is here. strap pulling as then said <laughs> so let's go when I decide to go heavy on this I'll, I will probably build a shorter shorter handle because it will it will allow me to work more on the strength and less on stability. Yeah that's it for the multi spinner. Our last exercise of the day is rice squeeze. For this exercise you need just a, any bucket and in here I have three kilos of rice. That's a bit over 6 pounds, 6.6 .6 pounds of rice. So, and my point here is just to exhaust my hands completely. It, it really helps with my stamina. And how I'm doing this is I'm going right to left without stopping uh, max effort. So if I can do 500 reps, I will do 500 reps. Of course I can do 500 reps. So uh, also, I try to open my hand completely and then squeeze so and then again full open complete squeeze let's start As you can see, this is pretty exhausting. It started to hurt at one point pretty bad.
my second and third sets here are way lower. Really hurts. Oh, this one burnt out quickly. That's it for this one. As you can see that guys, this, this will definitely increase your stamina and well, it will pump your forearms pretty bad and you won't be able to close your hand or open it for a while. So that's it guys, until next time, see ya.